Hello, welcome to my channel, Lady Gem. My name is Glennis. So today I want to try out something. Um, <laughs> I am, I am not, well, foam and mousses and whatnot have been all the rage last year. And I, this is the one that I've used uh, of what I have the most and enjoyed using the most. Um, but I don't. Of course, I can't use them. Some people might use them by themselves, but I can't. Um, but I have used it with creams. But have a good day, baby. But I've, um, and I've enjoyed using it with creams. But, you know, I love a gel. And so I was like, hmm, let me try to put my leave-in which I already have on. Um, it's the Kinky Curly Nut Today Leave-In mixed with a bunch of oils. And then I'm going to go in with, this is the current gel that I have open, Kinky Curly Curly Custard. And I wanted to top it off with a mousse, but I wanted to go in because I need to finish up some of these products that I got. I wanted to go in with this AG Air Cloud Air Light Volumizing Mousse. But when I went to check the ingredients on the website, of course, AG Air went on this reformulation, remove ingredients, add ingredients. So this version of the mousse is no longer available. So I was like, mm, I can't, well, I'm going to use that, but I'm going to have to use that off camera. So I have to use this. This is another mousse that I have. This one says foam. That, um... I have that I want to use up. So it's going to be the Innocence I Create Lift Volumizing Foam. Now, and Sheree Del Sol um, here on uh, uh, on YouTube um, is the one that, um, I think she's posted, posted something on Instagram that made me go look because on the ingredients on, on these foams. And it's the, that the foams, the thing that make it a foam is that it's using a surfactant. And in this case, it's using caprylic, capril glucoside, decal glucoside and laurel glucoside, gentle surfactants. And um, this one, what I like, and it's actually the, the surfactant is higher up on this one. This that I like, it is, I saw it somewhere. Oh Lord, oh, cocobethane, and it's lower down. Um, I'm not even going to tell you about this one. And I remembered, so it had me thinking that the surfactants is what giving it the foamy texture. But I remember a couple of years, maybe eight, nine years ago, um, a Carolyn Hirons was talking about, she's a skincare, she was talking about using um, cleansers that um, don't have certain, the surfactant is not, not the surfactant, the, the foaming mechanism is from the, the pumping mechanism, not because it has a glucose, I mean, a surfactant inside. So I'm like, okay, can y'all, can y'all come up with something like that? Where it, the moussey, the foaminess is because of the mechanism and not because of an ingredient. And then maybe we can see if that works. Just throwing that out there. Um, and I think it was, I think it was a Ren cleanser or something. I, I should probably go back and look that um, she was saying it it wasn't because of the surfactant that was in it. It was the, the pumping mechanism that, that was creating the foam, the bubbles. So can you all do that, please, instead of putting a surfactant in these things? But anyhow, that's my ramble session for today. So today... It's going to be this. And let me see how it works. Because A, I want to use this up. Next wash, I'm going to do this off camera and see how that goes. But eventually, because I've used like four. Now, this is the one I would have gone with. It's just a little bit in here. And I might just use it on one of the sections. Maybe I'll use it in the back. But this is the one I'm going to use mostly. But also the surfactant is lower down on the list on this one than this. So, I want to use this up as well. Anywho. I'm going to go in, my point is, I'm going to go in, add this, and then come back 
I think at least that's what I want to do and come back. Maybe I won't. Um, I'm thinking, do I want to add this all over and then come back and then add this? Or do I want to add them together? Let's try. Let's, let's, let's try and see. Okay, so this was my day to use a tool. So I use my tool. That video uh, probably is before this video. We shall see. So, um, okay. I need more gel. And it's been over an hour since I've put my leave-in in because in I went and detangled and recorded the video and all this other stuff. So, okay, let me, let me see if this is what I want to do. So I'm making sure that every bit of hair gets some gel. Okay. Okay, let me see here. Doo -doo -doo. Put you away. Move this out the way. Oh, Jesus. Now, my hands are all sticky, so hold on. Oh, I must not have used this before because... Might be too much. Might be too much. Too much. That was too much. Oh, child, that was too much. <laughs> one pump, Glennis, one pump. I should have, did I just, did I? Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If that was too much, hold on. Let's just do it this way. There we go. That was enough for my whole, this whole section. Okay. I'm just making sure every section gets some. Okay. What I can tell you is that my hair does not feel like, right, my cuticles does not feel raised. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Probably because I laid the gel down first. So that's a good thing. Like, yeah. Like my hair does not feel knotted up. So, okay. So three pumps for a whole subsection, okay? Don't, don't, don't go too heavy with this glenis. Now this mousse says that it's, this foam, it's not a mousse. This foam says it's for volume, um, which I would say that that's what most mousse foams are for because they're so light that they give you that airy effect. So what am I, I'm just trying to, because the gel gives a soft hold. Um, I wanted to see if I can get a little bit of uh, crunch maybe but I don't know that's what I would like but we shall see okay let's keep it going I might use the um uh what is that one the verb one on another wash day like open up a new bottle and but I'm liking how my hair feel. It does not, but basically it's like the, 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 the foam and the gel and the leave-in goes together. Like my hair feels smooth. It's not feel tangled. It's not feel, it's not the mousse. I keep saying mousse. The foam um, didn't suck up, you know, 
there's some when, um, products when you put it on your hair it sucks up whatever's on the hair already so this does not feel like that at all and I don't know why I was doing these why I'm doing these twists so tiny maybe there's a reason so I'll continue <laughs> I will continue okay I don't know why I'm doing them tiny, but anyhow. Um, yeah, no, my hair feels good. It feels good. Pumps for this whole section. Granted, this looks like it's a bigger section. It makes the gel more slippery. It gives me this effect. Oh. Huh. Except this is a little bit, it feels a little bit heavier. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this, when I put it on my hair, it's, it feels the same. But only thing is that it's a little bit lighter. This is a little bit lighter. Just the way, just the, how my hair feels, how the foaminess, the foam only because of how it feels not this and this together feels more weighted more heavier um yeah i think i want to de detangle this <laughs> because, I because um not because my hair feels knotted up or anything it's, I, want, I want it to be a little bit neat uh, don't know why, but that's what I'm going for today. But that's how my that's how it feels. It feels similar to to the verb putting these two together. Hmm. Okay. Even see, there's a reason why I like. To put these put to um use a tool as it bring it closes the cuticles down as well for those people who want shiny hair uh gel and a and a tool a gel and a tool hold on I like how this feels Texture-wise, I like how this feels. I like how this combo feels. Hmm. Okay, I'm just playing in my hair. I like how that feels, y'all. I don't know. I like, even when I use... <laughs> Um, maybe I like this foaminess thing. I don't know. Because the... When I use... I'm trying to remember what it is that I use. Uh, I can see it in my head. It's a leave-in and it's a liquidy leave-in. Oh, Lord. Aveda. The Aveda Neutral Plenish Leave-In. When I use that with Curl Maker. My hair felt the same way. This foamy, but it but they laid my cuticles down. My hair felt smooth. Hmm. Maybe I'm onto something that I 
that I like. Only thing is, I'm not too keen on the surfactants. So, if anybody knows of another um, gel mousse situation, that it is caused by the that by the pumping mechanism and not because of a surfactant that's in it. Let me know. I'm on a no buy in 2024, but still let me know. Um, I will go hunt for that. I will also go hunt looking for that. If there's a mousse that does the same but without the surfactants. And that's all she wrote. I'm trying to wipe off the excess because that might turn into seeable flakes. <laughs> um, hopefully not. It's look like it's gone. Oh, that's so. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna go dry it off. Um, I usually take this clip and just clip the front to the back so that the ends can dry. Um, and then I, I put, do that for like 15 minutes and then I, oh, nope. And then I remove them so that the section that I do clip because it stays wet. <sighs> can I just say y'all, I have not been excited about a combination as I have this combination in a while. I still have some, a little bit left, but for all intents and purposes, this is an empty jar. Okay, I like, like my hands, they, the combination gel together, literally. My hands are not, it's, it's sticky, it's a sticky gel, but it's clear for all intents and purposes. There are no, um, Pilling. Um, I think this will wash off clean um, from my from my hair, from my hands, and from my hair. Um, but okay, let's go dry. I gotta go about my day. Let's go dry this, and I'll be back tomorrow so that I can tell you all about how my hair feels. I'm expecting, this is my expectation. I'm expecting, my hair might shrink up. It's, I can see it already shrinking and that's because I've been doing protein treatments nearly every wash day or some sort of treatment nearly every wash day. So my hair is shrinking up. Um, but what I'm expecting is that my hair, oops, this is, my hair will be, soft because I put oils in my in my leave-in so I'm expecting my hair to be soft um um also because also because of the gel the gel itself leaves my hair soft I'm I would be surprised if I feel a crunch from this from this mousse I'll be surprised um I want to keep calling it mousse. And I don't know if the mousse is the, the mechanism where it foams up because of the mechanism and not because it's surfactant or if the foam. But this foam, of course, has surfactants in it. And that's bothering me. Like, not bothering me. Yay, I don't put it on my hair. It's like bothering me that I don't know of one even though I thought of it a couple of days ago that I don't like, I didn't go research one. So I'm going to go wash my hands and go sit. When I go into the dryer, I'm going to go looking for the cleanser, the surfactant or not the surfactant, Jesus Lord, the cleanser that I was referring to that foams because of the pumping mechanism and not because it has, because of the, the surfactant in it. 
and I want a, a mousse or foam or a whatever to do the same. That's what I want without it's affecting the pumping net. Anywho, but I'm just excited. That's what it is. That's all this is, is that I'm excited. I'm excited. I like how my hair feels, like literally how it feels. The application was exciting. I think that's what it, that's the word I want to use. Like I enjoyed the application process of this. So anywho, I'm going to go dry it and I'll be back tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. So I'm back with, this is an empty, um, my closing thoughts on this combination, the kinky curly curling custard with the innocence. I create lift volumizing foam. Okay. So here's the thing early and I'm sure I'm going to keep that part in the part where I talked about, um, it's sticky. Um, these foamy things, the thing that makes them foamy is, um, a surfactant. And so it bothered me and bothered me. And of course I, <laughs> so I went in, in research mode, trying to find a foam a mousse and I haven't found one yet that does not have a surfactant mm, I mean granted there are different um types of surfactants but anyhow nonetheless it's a surfactant and so I'm still trying to find one that does not if that exists I don't know but gotta be come on does not necessarily to me okay to me, that is somebody has figured out how to create a product, um, a foam, and nobody, and, and so they saw that in order to get the foam, you use a surfactant. And so no one, as far as I can tell, has figured out how to do it without a surfactant. For me, it's leaving that on as going to dry your hair out and then there are people who just use this by itself with no leave-in which by the way i slather this on with some oils and this weed ad thing so putting this on like a mousse by itself every day all day that's like leaving soap <laughs> on your skin and if you leave soap on your skin over time, that dries it out. So anyhow, my point is, I hope we haven't gotten lazy. Well, not we, me, but whoever formulators are, um, and gotten lazy and just stuck with, oh, we're just, we can only use a surfactant um, to create this foam. Like I said, I, I remember, and I, I'm waiting I posted it in the Facebook group that I'm in about the pump mechanism that produces the foam. Um, anyhow, my point is, I don't accept that the only way to produce a foam is you have to use a surfactant. So, little old me, Glenn, is going to put it out into the universe and say, somebody come up with th this thing without a surfactant. Please and thank you. The hair gods, if there's such a thing, will be happy. Well, Glennis will be happy, but nonetheless. Because this and this, I like how it applies. I like how it made my hair feel. I like even today how my hair feels. So when I use these two, I, I get a crunch not well i get a, a cast when i come out the dryer i get a cast and then when my hair and then my hair gets back soft because i don't know how, how that works and why it works like that but then my hair gets back soft because my hair of course is still wet um but then as uh, the hours go on and when it completely dries i get another cast but when i tie my hair up the next day and remove it the cast is gone Somehow with the, this combination, it's not, it's not a hard cast, 
my hair feels soft, but I have a cast. And like, you know, it's not stiff. It gives, right? I have this cast. So for me, um, it keeps the frizzies at bay. So, but my hair is dry. My hair feels dry. Usually, kinky curly not today doesn't leave me dry, dry, dry. Now, I don't know if it's the weather. Usually, it's still in the, it's cold. I don't usually, because there's no glycerin, there's no humectant. I mean, marshmallow is a humectant, but no really heavy-duty humectant to dry out my hair. So, I can only say that this cult, this is was the culprit, right? But anywho, I still like how my hair feels. I'm just gonna have to combat that with some oils. I've tried the, using um, a liquid to lessen the impact of the dryness of my hair, but I'm gonna try some oils. Not see that this is basically a fresh do because if I put this on, it my hair gonna be frizzy. Unless I put this on, let it, don't do nothing with it. Let it dry, but I'm about to go to bed. Let it dry and then put some oil in. I don't know, y'all. Okay, so, but my aim right now, because it's a fresh do, I don't want it to become frizzy because I don't want to have a frizz ball mess. I'm just going to put in this oil and hopefully that gives me some of the softness that I'm looking for. I'm not looking for hydration right now because hydration just gonna mean my hair is gonna swell, it's gonna give me frizz. Um, I don't even so much care about breaking up the cast. I don't care about that. I just don't want my hair, because that's the lessons I've learned from last year is that I, I, I strive to not, to use products that will get me from wash day to wash day. And even if my hair feels bone brittle dry, I won't, still won't, I don't know why I didn't, won't um, put anything on my hair. I will suffer through the dryness. Why? I don't know, but I'm not doing that this year. I'm not doing that this year. But I'm going to still try to um, hydrate the hair as much as I can but I don't want the frizzies. So I'm just going to try and see how this oil situation works out. And then as I probably get closer to wash day when I don't care anymore about the frizzies, I will um, use this because this has like a crap ton of other things. It's not, it's not just this niche is in here. I have a, <laughs> I have a crap, I have a lot of stuff in there. Um, stuff for the scalp and all sorts of other stuff, stuff for my hair is in that. So it's not just that, but anyhow, that's what I, that's where I'm at. We'll see what I, what this tells me over the next few days. Um, yeah. See, when you put the oil, it doesn't, you don't, your hair don't swell and you don't create the frizz. So, you know, oh, but anywho. I like how my hair feels. I just don't like the dryness of it. And that's all. So, anywho. I will let you know. Another dye. Because I think, uh, no, this is finished. And I don't want to open up another one. But I want to finish this. And the other ones. I'm going to go and experiment. <laughs> and see how it goes. Thanks for watching. And Glenn is in her madness. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.